All right, what do we got? Let's start with Chris. I guess so just starting off, I mean, what have you seen this spring from your position group and, and you know, so especially some of the younger receivers that, uh, that you're developing? Well, I think the spring's a great time for, for individual player development growth. Um, the guys are working really hard. Um, you know, again, I, I've seen individual growth. I've seen growth as a unit, um, you know, and, and not only on the field, they're doing a great job, you know, in the meeting room, doing a great job in strength training. You see, you know, growth and development physically. Uh, you know, so it, again, I think it's been a tremendous spring. I'm really excited about the players and, and the direction that we're heading. And, and again, now, you know, we get into a new phase here coming up and, and a, another opportunity to get better. When you have so many young guys, both in terms of you know, freshmen coming back from last year and also new players coming in, just as a coach, you know, what's the biggest thing that you, know, you think is important for them to take that next step and really develop and break into the depth chart? Well, I, I think realistically, what you want to look at is you, you really want to think about it like you, you really get one opportunity to, to do things correctly. You know, one opportunity to, to train a player from a fundamental standpoint, a detail standpoint, a technique standpoint. And when you get them as a young player, I mean, it, it's a tremendous opportunity. And, and if you can do it right and the player buys in and, and you, you know, you get the things done the way you want to get them done, I think you just create a little bit bigger window for the player to get better a little bit faster. And then, like anything, when you experience some success as a young player, you know, it, the, the drives there, the, the things that you really want to see out of them, they're, they're a little more apparent when, when they have a little bit of success. So these guys have done a great job. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything more from a, from a work, ethic, work ethic standpoint, from a, a chop standpoint, as we say. And, and they've done a great job. So uh, it's a lot of fun for a, for a coach. You know, I, I love young players. I, I love guys who are hungry to be better, hungry to learn, hungry to, to do things the right way. So for me, it's a lot of fun, and, and uh, you know, I enjoy being out there. What does Tyree Miller add to your room? Well, I think experience. You know, anytime you're looking at a player, to, regardless of level, um, you know, you, you love guys that have, you know, competitive production, and, and he has a ton of that. Um, you know, he's got a really, really competitive nature. Uh, he attacks the ball. Uh, you know, and, and he's really good in the meeting room. Um, you know, maturity level's fantastic. You know, so I, I just really excited to add him, and, and he's been a great fit. The, the, the chemistry with the other players is fantastic. So it's uh, been a lot of fun, you know, and, and again, this, this age we're in it is what it is. So uh, really excited to get a guy not only, I think, of his caliber as a player, but I, I also think his caliber as a person is going to help us be a better team. With uh, Jaquay Jackson last year, uh, Miller, you just mentioned, and, and Brantley, you know, these guys came from smaller schools. Uh, what, what's the process like getting them up to speed for Big Ten play? Well, again, I think it's a little bit different when you, when you look at some of the players that have come in. You know, you, you have college film. And, and again, albeit a smaller uh, level or a different level, but you have competitive snaps. You, you can watch them in, in competitive situations, and you can see them strain. You can see them have success. Uh, make plays. So I, I do think there's a little bit of an advantage in, in terms of bringing those guys in. And then really from, from them athletically and competitively, it's getting them up normal, the, the speed of the day, uh, how you practice, what we do. Uh, they've been really good in the meeting room. They're, they're all you know pretty quick studies. They've, they've learned what we do. They've bought into how we do it. So I, I think it's just a, you know, you just have a little bit faster curve, you know, with those guys. And, and then you really count on them being able to do the things that they've done successfully other places here, you know, within the, the scheme that we're going to run. And, and they've done a great job. Uh, Coach Shiano has mentioned Ben Black as a guy who's really stood out this spring. Um, I guess what have you seen from your perspective and, and kind of the way, the way he's adjusted so far? Yeah, I think both freshmen. Uh, they've done a great job, you know, and, and kind of you, you, here we just kind of throw them in, you know, and, and it doesn't really bother me. I don't, I'm not worried about coaching young players and, and – uh, you know, he's, he plays fast. Obviously, he was a, a track guy in high school. And, uh, you know, in the competitive situations that he's had and, and the opportunities to make the plays, you know, he's made a ton of them. And, and again, there's a ton of growth. His, his ability to get better is, is endless. You know, and, and then the same thing with K.J. Duff. You know, he's, done, he's really done the same thing. A lot of the things that I think we felt like we saw when we evaluated those players, you know, I, I, I think they are what they are. You know, they've come in here and, and – They've shown that they can compete at this level, and, and you know they do a really good job of, of trying to listen and pay attention and learn the fundamentals and techniques, and, and you just kind of bring them along as quickly as you can. And then, like I said, if you have a little bit of success, it's always just a little bit easier you know, because it, it's, it's more fun to be successful. 
Um, how beneficial do you think it is now for the guys coming back, you know, second year, you know, working under you, working under uh, Coach Shiraka, and just you know having that continuity? How beneficial do you think that is? Oh, I think it's everything. When when you have a situation where the the players have experience, continuity, uh, the knowledge of the system, you know, you go from you know kind of what do I do and kind of how do I do it to you know you, those things become instinct. And now you're in a situation where, okay, you know, how are we going to coach the top of this route? How are we going to coach versus this coverage? You know, there's levels to each thing as you teach and, and you progress through the, the training of a player. And, and I think that, that those guys have, have gone to the next level. And, again, it's a lot of fun as a coach, you know, because you see them get better. You see them take the competitive reps and have success in games. And now as they get to take a deep breath and come back in spring, you know, it, you really get a chance to, to – you know, show what they can do with, with that foundation being built already. And now you just got to build on it and, and try to do everything you can to, to make them the very best player that they can be, you know, at, at this time. Again, they, they all have a, a high ceiling. You know, they're all going to be better players when we line up in September than they are today. How do you feel about the depth of your room? How many guys you got, how many players you have that can, you know, tomorrow you guys had a Big Ten game would be able to come in and contribute? Yeah, I think the depth, you know, much improved considerably. You know, I feel great about being able to play multiple people. And, and uh, you know, again, we're a long way from, from a game. But, you know, I feel like the depth in the room is, is much improved. And, and uh, again, I don't, you know, my, my, I don't have a lot of issues with, with younger players. So whether it was Ian Strong last year playing, whether it was uh, Jaquay coming in and playing as a new player, you know, I, I think you go out and, and you practice every day. And, and at the end of the day, you get what you earn here. You know, and that's a player, that's a coach, that's everybody in this program. You know, you better show up to work and earn what you get, and, and if they earn it, then, hey, let's go play. Final question. Uh, Christian Dremel had a nice season last year. What's the next step for him? Well, I think, you know, when you're, when you're in his situation, and, and he certainly made a lot of plays for us and, and did a lot of really good things, now do you take the next step? And he certainly has. You know, again, he's a really, really competitive guy. Uh, his, his work ethic is unmatched. His his mental and physical toughness are, I think, elite. Um, and now, you know, he gets a little bit of a of a leadership role. He gets a little bit of a kind of in the room to to be the guy who's done the most. And and that can be an impactful role if you embrace it. And he has. Um, you know, I, I like being around him. I like coaching him. You know, you know exactly what you're going to get. His teammates know exactly what you're going to get. And and uh, again, for me, it's exciting when when you have a player like that. You know, I look for him to take the next step and, and continue to grow and, and be better for us. Thanks, Coach.